While Yelena Yankovic was busy entertaining at the Family Circle Cup, we were compiling the latest and greatest stories from around the tennis world. Hey tennis fans, I'm Blair Henley and welcome to the Tennis Now News Update. Yes, Yankovic is at it again, making us laugh with her infectious and unusual sense of humor. Here's her response to a press question about her decision to stop wearing makeup on the court. Is that right? Can you see I wear makeup? Of course not. Quick. Oh, not, not to row. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta make you laugh a little bit. It's late at night. <laughs> That's you know, right. But I answered your question. Okay. Oh, I don't. I, I, I'm getting older and uh, it, the, I only put makeup when I um, go to the parties or go somewhere where I want to look nice here. I want to look like a beast. Like, <laughs> I just want to look as scary as possible. If it appears Yankovic cracks herself up, you would be correct. She explains why in a vine from the Family Circle Cup. I make myself laugh because my tongue is faster than my brain at <laughs> times. Also in Charleston this week, Sloane Stevens and Madison Keys got to hit some balls on the dock at Charleston Harbor. We're thinking the bounces must have been brutal, but it made for some pretty great photos. At the Family Circle Cup Players Party, the girls were asked about the craziest thing they've done. Here's what Keys and Shelby Rogers had to say. A few months ago I went swimming with dolphins in the Bahamas, and then I went to the Grand Cayman and was swimming with Stingray. So we like to swim with exotic creatures. <laughs> That's all we do in our <laughs> Props to the folks running the Monterey Open. They had a zombie-themed player party where Flavia Panetta, Kirsten Flipkins, and more gave the undead a run for their money. Then they took to the dance floor for a little thriller action. Check it out. Aya and Ula Radwanska proudly showed off their new commercial this week for Polish convenience store Daily. We have no idea what they're saying, but we get the idea. Radwańska kontra Radwańska. Karma dla psa. Karma dla kota. Kawa. Herbata. Krem na dzień. Krem na noc. Lakier do paznokci, lakier do włosów, czekolada, czekolada, pasta do zębów, pasta do butów, sól do zbywarki, sól do kąpieli. Jimmy Connors teamed up with Heineken for a grudge match against a poster. Proceeds from the poster sale go to Reporters Without Borders. Take a look. This is what I'm going up against. My smack talking days are kind of behind me. You know, but, I, but I am going to say to the poster that uh, he's got nothing. Come on. Come on, Mr. Poster. He's just gonna just here. He's gonna move a little bit. Come on, come on, Mr. Poster. Andy Murray's investment property, the Cromlex Hotel, reopened this week after a massive renovation. Rooms go from 250 pounds per night, and we're pretty sure it's all because of the bathrooms. We have a sneak peek for you. Last week in Miami, ESPN's Tom Rinaldi decided to see just how hard it would be to return the serves of two of the game's greats. We'll let you see for yourself. Yours truly stepped into the line of fire from Novak Djokovic and Serena Williams, who agreed to hit a few at roughly 75% of their respective power. Novak, what advice would you give to a recreational player stepping into this kind of form? <laughs> Hold your racket in front of your face. <laughs> Enjoying a short break following his win at the Sony Open, Novak Djokovic was spotted cheering on Serbian basketball team Red Star in Belgrade with his father. The atmosphere makes basketball in the States look like child's play.
That's all for today's Tennis Now news update. Make sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss a thing. We'll see you next time here on Tennis Now.